usually the first question I ask is, has there been any problems since our last visit? Uh, have you had any doctor's appointments? Is there anything new you need to tell me about? Make sure they wash their feet properly. Make sure they check between their toes, you know, check underneath their feet any new areas that are open, any areas that may seem rough or calloused, you know, things that are new that, that they really didn't notice before. Uh, to make sure that they use cream on their feet to keep them soft, to wear appropriate footwear. The spots here where you can see that bit of redness, yeah. we have to be careful with that as well. Yeah. So we look for red spots, anything that looks like it might have been rubbed, um, pressure related um, areas, calluses, I'm looking for cracks between the toes, the dryness of their feet, whether or not they are using cream. She had a special uh, shoe made specifically for her foot. They've had to mold a shoe to fit her uh, Charco foot in and so that it creates no pressure on that area of her foot. And this is the one that we were really, I was really happy with the changes he made with this one yeah. because he added more support in here yeah. for you. I did a little, little bit of debridement as well to take down the callus. It's when callus builds up then uh, the wounds won't heal. He helps her stay off of her feet. You know, he helps with the foot assessment to make sure that there's nothing new going on with her foot. He's very, very involved, this fella, so he, you know, watches what the nurses do. So any information we can give to the family as well as to the patient is always helpful. Just like a little slip now. Yeah, yeah. it seems to be closed in on one area. We're coming along, Irene, hopefully you get to go to England this year. Yeah. It's not just one person doing really good work, it's everybody in the team and you know we've all come up with this idea and we've come up with this plan for this patient and it's really nice to see when they come along and heal. People with diabetic foot ulcers oftentimes don't feel anything, they don't feel pain. We need to teach them how to buy shoes, make sure they go to buy their shoes at the end of the day when their feet are the biggest. A lot of times they just put their foot in a size 8 shoe because that's what they've always worn and not realizing that, you know what, maybe they're a size 9 now. Okay, see you Monday. Okay, have a good okay. weekend. And, have a good weekend. Uh, I'll be back on Monday and uh, I'll be here with Irene. So. Best practice guidelines for RNAO, they've given us um, a starting point for all healthcare providers. It's really a wonderful um, way to communicate information back and forth between the team members where everyone has a common um, place to start.